Hello guys, my name is Satvir AJ. Welcome back to my channel AJ36000. Today I will be showing you how to freely host Laravel application in Hostinger. So let's get started. So now for hosting, the main thing what you need is a FileZilla client. This is an application which you can download it for free. The link will be in the description. Just go and click on this button and you will get the download. And after the download is completed, we can we can install it. So I'll be showing how to install it too. So just click on I agree next. Okay, and, and that's all. And now you can install FileZilla client. So now FileZilla client is successfully installed. Now back in our Hostinger. So host, why I choose Hostinger is because Hostinger does not have any ads or banners on your website. So it's a very good feature of Hostinger. Some other website, a free hosting website, have their banners. Uh, in the side or in the bottom of our website so it's quite bit annoying so so for getting started you need an account in Hostinger so let's click the member area if you are new to Hostinger you need to create a new account or you can just log in by using Facebook or Google Plus so I have an email out here this is my friend's email I actually steal from him so I have already created my account I will just enter my password and I will be logged in into my account. So after you are logged into your account you can see a page like this. Now out here you have to click the new hosting button out here and should be having a three list you can even buy the hosting plan but I will be using the free one so I will click order and now you will be moved to a shopping cart don't worry that you have to give any money it's absolutely free now don't type anything out here this is buying some domains so domains are not at all free we need to buy it so we'll just move on just click the checkout now and I agree with and just complete the order now once you click this you will be having this successful message congratulations you are almost done and now our account is successfully created so now we can create our hosting uh, our domain and our website so we can't buy a new domain so we will use a free domain and um, so free subdomain I will give the subdomain as something like hosting test and that's enough and you can set the different domains that you want to uh, see your website as the subdomain so I will be searching 16mb.com so why I selected this because this will give a feeling that we are not in a subdomain so if you uh, type like something like a www.hostingtest.16mb.com this give a natural feeling instead of something else like .esy.es so I have a server region of Europe UK and I will create a new password so you can create any password for this but I will be using the password which is on my account so just type it and click setup so I have an error that domain is already hosted so I will create another domain with test hosting or something okay. So uh, main is not allowed. Uh, so I will use my name itself. Okay, now that's created. Now you can see zero account is because you have to reload it. And once you reload, you can see hosting at gone update.16mb.com. Now if you go to that link, so at weight.16mb.com 
you can see your account has been created so now we can create a new index file out here so click on the manage and you will be redirected to the panel so most of the features in hostinger is uh, is available only for the paid version so in the first of all i told you to download the file zilla because we cannot access the file manager so we need we need to get a paid account so that we have to uh, get this feature so i'll be using filezilla so i'll also teach you how to connect with filezilla so once you have opened the filezilla up here you can see host username password and port uh, columns so just fill out that so just copy this this is the host name and paste it out here and username and type in your password and the port is 21 okay i will say password and just click okay and it's successfully created and now now i can see all the files which is in the website so if you notice you can see that public html so in our Laravel project we have only public so we have to rename it to uh, public html when we upload our laravel files so i will be moving on to the uploading uh, things so in the left side you can see our local site so just go to the place where you have your laravel application so i have created a new fresh new application out here so i'll be just uploading this so i will not upload the vendor folder right now it's because when the folder is too much big so it will take um, four to five hours for me so i will just keep it and do it later so i will just upload the rest of files i am deleting the other files in the remote side because i don't need that anymore so i will upload it no need of vendor and this will work now we can move on to our dom uh, database so database is an important thing for our website so for creating a database just click on the mysql databases and you can see a new database created creation out here so just type your database name i will give the name as something like uh, user this is my database name and my username will be root you can create any username and any uh, database name and i will create another password for my database it will be uh, i'll just give it as password and just click execute and now you have created successfully a new database and you can see the database out here now if you click this php my admin button you will be redirected to the php my admin so out here you can manage your table column and everything you can only get a single database and single hosting in hosting with a single account so it's always recommended to do buy an account so shared hosting is not at all uh, recommended by the laravel creator is because we cannot run the artisan commands so we cannot migrate it with just type in php artisan migrate so we need to uh, create the tables manually or just importing from or just exporting from our local site and importing to our uh, remote site so i will not create any table right now but i will show you how to link your database with your laravel application so once you have completed your upload you can see uh, yeah failed i will just require process queue and again failing yeah that's because my net is slow out here sorry for the inconvenience that i have given you this is not at all because of my net problem if you are getting the same error uh, it is because the 
this space of hosting is full at right now they are working on it so they will fix this problem as soon as they are possible and now i cannot upload anymore because the uh, server this is full and don't think that our disk is full that the whole hosting our disk is full so we can see that our disk usage is just 0.02 mb out of the 2000 mb and we have created one MySQL database so i will be uh, telling you about uh, the env file so without the hosting it so in your project just open your env uh, in atom so always don't forget to buy a domain if you are hosting it uh, for any business related uh, things just use the shared hosting for testing purpose only ok uh, now open your env and down here go to oh no yeah uh, just go to remote I oh, don't remote uh -huh. yeah that's good yeah. yeah just go to mysql databases again and in our env we can now set our database so first we will copy our database name copy it and change the database name then our user name then it will be our password so and don't forget about the host so these are everything for the database and you cannot uh, edit or do anything with this database locally you have to uh, you have to uh, upload your files or env file in your uh, in the remote files so that you can access the database in your, with your laravel application so i will give you a test of uh, php address and migrate in local so uh, php artisan migrate and yeah now you can you will get an error so that's exactly what i told you so that's all for today's video thank you for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more videos I hope you all like my video you can always contact me through twitter facebook or the contact form which is on my own website thank you guys